He has a time. God, I am tired. This uh, will it kill has really drained the life out of me this week. I've been working so much. So you know Soul's old 2S in the old games was plus on block, and it was like a you'd use it in block strings to set up strike throw. In this game, it is not good on block, but it's a much better footsie button than it was in the old games. It was like your pressure like tool that you would use that was like really useful for that kind of thing. In the, in this game, it's like it's straight up just like a, a footsie tool. You know what I mean? So that is like something that you use it very differently than how you used to. It's like a, a quite a different move, which is like, I have no problem with that either. You just have to get used to it. It's just different. It takes some adjusting. You know, somebody like somebody on one of my, I think it was my Twitch clips or like one of my YouTube comments said something along the lines of like, you know, this is how uh, broken soul is that. Oh, I thought she was going to go backwards for some reason because I was like talking while playing or whatever. And I was like, I wonder if people realize that like I'm a streamer. It's like my job to talk and play. Like, can you imagine what my stream would be like if I didn't talk and play? Oh, my close slash. It's just my. it's like, you know, it's literally what I do. So like, it, it definitely hampers performance. You know, you like play worse when you talk and play, but like it's just what you gotta do, right? It's like streams. Like, I I I've said before, like streaming, you know, and talking like lowers your performance by a lot. But it's okay because you know, why would I stream if I didn't want to talk to you guys? Like I would, I could I could just play without talking by myself at any time. I gotta say, I did not expect to see. You see what I mean, Ram players, about it being evasive. You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm putting down. You see that just whiff on my success? Like, I'm not saying like I need success to always beat it. I'm just saying like that was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. Oh, I try to block it. I thought I got far slash, but I got close slash. Hit 5k, old man. Oh, I'm sorry. She just did her fucking plus on block advancing special move in neutral, and my my mid range poke lost. Let me just sit here and wait as the footsie character does her full screen advancing. But you shut up, Ram players. Don't tell me how to play the game, all right? You just said, oh, hit 5k. Oh, so I have to sit here and wait for the flip kick and not do anything else but look for it so that I can 5k it when she does it. And that's what I have to do now. Instead of her, oh, she just throws a sword. What am I going to do now? You mean the character with incredibly good anti airs? The character with incredibly good ground game and burst safe routes and. Some of the best pressure in the game has an advancing special move. I just have to sit there and wait for. That seems pretty good to me. You know, when Soul had his his far slash, I should have just told you. Ah, oh, just you know, hit a button and challenge it. I don't know. Try blocking. Try blocking. Blocking's pretty good. Anyway, my point is, I I have no opinion about Ram being too good or not. But also, I think that move is stupid. That's all. I just think that move is, is dumb. I, I don't think she's too good or anything. I just think that move is annoying. I, I just don't understand why they did it, to be honest. Like, it just seems like... It seems like they didn't think about it. They're like, no one uses this move. Fuck it. Make it plus. Which, you know, I guess. It's just a weird... It's just a weird move to, to make plus, I think, honestly. Ah, uh, 2S is not what I expected. Yeah, I'll swing. It's just a weird mood to make plus. I don't like have it. I don't know. I don't know that it's too. It's honestly not even the biggest problem with the character. It's not even close. It's like the tenth. It's the tenth most powerful thing or something. It's just like it's a weird change. I don't get it.
That's all. That's what my complaints usually are. I don't really have a lot of bad feelings about things being too strong usually. It's more just like, it just doesn't make sense in the context with the rest of the game. IMO. They should nerf Soul's ponytail. There's a mod that makes him have regular hair without the ponytail. Look, I had to listen to all your complaints about Soul being the most broken character of all time ever. And all I want to do is say the move is stupid. I didn't say it needs to be nerfed. I'm just going to tell you it's stupid because it is. That's all. I shouldn't jump there, actually. That's like a, not a good range to jump against, actual. I should just advance on the ground. Oh, fuck. I was one button too early. That's not a combo, is it? Oh, it did. Wow. Oh, two plus. The record change is absurd. Yeah, the record change is so good. That is like the best thing that she got for sure. That's like her biggest strength. If you want to complain about something being too good, that's actually the thing to complain about. IMO. Oh, he just built the burst. You know, I don't know why I did that. I I thought to myself, you know, I should have IB'd this. Whoops, that was supposed to be a far slash again. And then I didn't, so I was like, maybe, maybe I should just wire it. I got a 6P that. Well, he has a lot of bar. I think that was a super. No, oh, whoops. Yeah, I think it was a super too. I was looking at the chat when that happened. I was not ready. Whoops. Oh, I tried to hit the dash and I hit it too late. Nice. Thank God that move's not plus. We don't like it forward advancing plus special moves in these parts. Nice, I did Vortex. Looking for the explosion. Oh, that didn't punish. God. Whoops, that was supposed to be success. Yeah, I kind of had no business being there. Oh, uh, I got a vortex it, but I thought I was close enough to just do success. And the hit confirm. Well, look, listen. Oh. That's bad. Oh, you burst? I think Jump Dust was maybe a little ambitious. I was supposed to be 6P, whoops. I'm gonna do a Dragon D's nuts tier list? Oh, did someone make a tier list? Is that why you guys are all hyped? You guys are all turned up today. Oh, my close slash. 
Laughing made a tier list. What was his sub goal? Dragon Ranger class? Yeah, Drake Warden? It looks cool. You'll never guess which tier Chip was in? Oh no. The top. Nice. Weep. Yeah, I mean, Chip is certainly not as strong as he used to be. He's certainly worse. You know, her before Ram was maybe a little bit boring, but she had a very strong tool set, right? Now it's like her, she has a stronger, even more diverse. Oh, it's you? Okay. She has a stronger, even more diverse tool set along with being, uh, what's it called? Along with being better, which is like a combo that's like, oh boy. Oh god. Oh god, that was actually almost a bomb though. Yeah, the problem with this connection is like, not only is it a high ping connection, it's also pretty unstable. Like 150 MS usually is not th like this. This combo's hard to burst, that's why I did it. Cool ranch looking ass soul color, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's very uh, interesting to me that people like this color. I think it looks awful. I, could, I might be a hater though, I don't know. I don't think I am. I like the blue fire, I think that is cool. I think his hair is bad. That's for sure. I'm a big hater on Blonde Soul, though. It's why I had to find Reload P. Like, that color is so good. I don't like Blonde Soul, generally. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that didn't punish, huh? Yeah, I agree. I think Blonde is kind of... Blonde Soul kind of, you know, not hitting in the same way. I have one more hit on the wall. Reminds me of Cloud. <laughs> Why didn't I ask for permission to review the ICFC VODs? I did, actually. I, uh, I asked, I asked Seg when Tenno started doing ICFC stuff if I was allowed to use the stuff that was on the channel. And he was like, why are you bothering me? Yes, go away. That's basically what he said to me. I was like, okay. Whoops. I mean, that is a very typical seg interaction, you know. <laughs> Just like, well. I saw Kimone is on the hunt to fix one sided rollback. You must be hype. Obama. That's cool. If they if they make that happen, that is super cool. Oh, I forgot that doesn't work even with a Kara. You have to do this route. Not what I meant to do, but you know, we take those. Oh, fuck. I had so many things planned on defense. Whoops, that was supposed to be air throw. And uh, none of them worked. I did like wake up IBFD OS backdash, and then he just like did delayed Fafner, and I was like, I guess I'm dead. Where's Melon? What up? Thanks for the gifts of the Pokemane. Hopefully she posts the Sage M vibe. 
just how it goes sometimes. But they give something to low tier god. I don't think he's gonna get much use out of my emotes, I gotta be honest. Oh, that's that's how you feel, huh? Damn, you actually definitely had a strategy for that. I gotta respect that is the best gold burst setup he's done yet. Yet. And I mean that genuinely. Because that was clearly so well thought out. It's not even close. Oh yeah, I forgot that doesn't work on Faust. Damn, I read the backdash too. Like, so his goal, his setup was so advanced. So he did a burst bait and then I always burst there. So I didn't burst there this time because like, obviously, you know, you got to change it up, right? And then he used that as an excuse to then jump cancel. And he knew that I was going to try to anti air the burst bait. And then he used that. So what's it called? Uh, he used that as an opportunity to gold burst. So that's what he did. He did a close slash to, and then jump canceled the bait my burst. And then when I didn't like take the bait, he then gold bursted my anti-air attempt on his burst bait. That was an advanced level mind game. That's the best gold burst setup he's done yet. And I, it, I'm sure it flew over most people's head because it was kind of advanced. There's a lot of... There's a lot that had to happen before that burst bait could even exist in the world. I'm going to hit this little shit. Kind of uh, unfortunate that he got meteors into fucking mini Faust, but you know, I'm just a simple mortal. What can I do? Nice. I tried to do Bandit Bringer, but I got crossed up. I'll take the food though. Fucking took all the food for himself. Oh, why did you do that? I should have just hit a button like seven. I re give him too much respect. Oh god, that's not all what I did. I tried to do far slash, and I don't know how I got. Oh, I couldn't back dash. I forgot that it's guard break now. Oh yeah, it's a save jump. Try to do the tech, right? Yeah, I accidentally burst right there because I tried to do far slash something else and then I got a miss input. I don't remember what I was trying to do though. That's fine. No gold burst is really good for me right there because that means his burst is gone on like a, a knockdown situation that actually wasn't that scary for him probably. Oh, the banana. Dude, my item awareness. Kind of nasty. Kind of nasty actually though, right? Nice. The hammer made that so that I couldn't uh, challenge. That was good. I didn't expect that. I expected to jump 2k. Uh-huh. Whoops. I'll take it though. I had a feeling the hammer wasn't going to hit me, but uh, I got to wait the banana peel out. I'm telling my, my item awareness. Kind of, kind of build different. I'm going to do it again. Okay, good block. I didn't really have much else to do there besides try to escape, to be honest. Help.
<laughs> I had a banner revolver because of um, Mini Faust. I ran for my life. That was a guaranteed punish. The gold burst, there's, I couldn't do anything about it. Anybody could gold burst to punish a move like that. But the first gold burst was like actually the best one. That was the craftiest one and it was not close. For Grand Toker's Doinkula, what up? Oh, help me, Lord. Okay. It's actually so nice having a push block. You know, I say it every time, chat. That was so late, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, she's too little. I'm out. Nice. Wait, that works? What? I didn't, I didn't even know. What? Far slash into the thing? Any cancel will work if you do it into Bandit Revolver, basically. Oh, whoops. That was supposed to be a delay. Oh! Oh, I had invincibility through it. I don't want to deal with 2D. I should hit a button on her. I didn't realize. I, I was waiting for the YRC shockwave, but it, it was already gone. I could have done close slash run and then, you know. I'll take a no burst gamer. Oh, I was way too far. Nice break. Rat jam is greater than cat jam. You're so fucking wrong. Listen. This is a cat jam stream, and we stick to it. That was good. That move is really good when you think Soul is gonna. Oh, fuck. Far slash you in neutral. Oh, I hit from behind. Oops, no Kara. What does he say when he wild throws you? I don't know, actually. I probably should not. Nice. I should probably not 2D in neutral against her. All right. Yeah, I don't think I should do that. The, the more I hit it, the more it feels wrong. Oh, that works? I thought that was, like, not a thing anymore. Oh. Chat. I was like, this is it. I was like, this is it. I'm gonna hit her 2D. And I was wrong. I'm so sorry. For even thinking such a thing was possible. Oh no. That's a good punish. Uh, 
Oh, I only got one hit. And I got the second hit, which is not good. Nice. I'm chilling. Oh, I didn't mean to jump, but I did get my IB. Fuck. I wake up DP. I'm trying to find something to counter poke 2D with, and it's not working. That's if you if you haven't figured out my objective the last match was to try to find something. Oh no. <laughs> My objective was like, okay, when she's doing 2D, oh, that's another problem. To, oh, yeah. Even if she is doing 2D, if she does anything else, I'm going to get smoked. No. See? Yeah. I might, I might just be... I might just be doing a little bit of avoiding. Oh, I should have far slash to punish that. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I can whip punish it. I, I think I've tried before. No, that was way too late. I read backdash. Fuck. Nice. You can do 6P there. I don't think there's a save jump against her. Her 2D is pretty good. I, I don't know what... I think my answer is probably actually just throw Gunflame from far. Her 2D goes far. I, I was trying to think of something crafty to deal with it. I don't think I've got anything. BR go over it? That's not a bad idea. Maybe the new BR will whip punish him. Right oh, nice. Nice. Ah, that was far. Listen. Good thing that move's not plus, huh? <laughs> I actually can't believe... Oh, no. I know. I know. Nice. I also did 2D. Whoops. That was 6H. Oh, I thought I could just far slash it. Was I in shock state? Maybe that's why. Oh, too late. Whoops. Oh, you're a Sajam fan now? For Reels Godman. What up? It's a Reels Goodman, but, you know. I should have far slash, fuck. I'm not dead, right? No, I should have done a different button. Oh, I tried to FD. Nice. 
Yeah, I don't think that combos that round start, even if it did hit me. Oh, listen. I was gonna do 5k jump cancel. But, uh, what's it called? He burst so fast. If I just ran up and did nothing, it wouldn't hit me, but. You know, I had already had a plan to burst, or burst bait at a later time. Oh, I was kind of expecting a burst right there, to be honest. I think on that, I should have done run up close slash into 2H, actually. I think that would have been better than what I did. In this version of the game. Oh, that was FD. Whoops. Huh. You good, bro? Oh, I did wild throw. Damn it. I didn't get my super... Nice. <clears throat> that was a good whip punish. You really are freestyling. I was thinking... Oh, that was a DP. I was thinking the same thing, actually, Ventus. I wonder if that's, like, something I can do instead. Because, like... There's got to be a way to, like, insta-splat there and not have to worry about it. Oh, it's too far. It's very rare that you're that far away when you get a hit like that mid screen. <laughs> yeah, jump dust is too much. I wonder if it's okay to do like jump S. Maybe even double jump, clean hit VV, and then super jump, whatever it's called. I don't think that would have worked anyway. Uh oh. That was certainly a throw, right? Yep. I think that was supposed to be a throw. And because it was a throw, he was like, let me run up and throw now. Listen here. Listen, hey. You saw nothing. <laughs> that run up throw really didn't make my day. That was sick. You fucking ran all the way up throw. Was that run up 2D supposed to be a throw? It must have been, right? I think I should round start like that against Nago, to be honest. I think it's kind of not great, but. I think like it's kind of it's kind of like just really bad for you to challenge round start against him. It's like so hard to actually do something. Because oh fuck. He's just in like such a good position, you know. Nice. Could have maybe made it to the corner, but
Oh, that reached me? I think he's popping, right? Oh, I guess not. Very close, though. This is how you gotta fight against them. As soul in this in this matchup, you really just gotta sit here. Wow, that was so high up. I can't believe that reached me, actually. I'm kind of, like, stuck now. I don't have a lot of room. I'm just going to do this. Oh, I was just running, and then I blocked. I don't know why that hit me. Not quite pop. Ah, uh, that would have popped him, I think. No, I did something so bad right there. I hit the second kick already, so that was a problem. Oh, that's bad. Whoops, not what I meant. To be fair, I mean, we can't do anything about this being the best stage. That shit is so fast. Oh my god, I didn't think that was going to reach me. I don't know why I did that. I knew that wasn't going to work as soon as I did it. Oh, my success is too slow. Now he has no blood. Oh, that he has a lot of blood. Oh, I've made you accidentally block it. Well, walked forward into the burst block cross up on accident is what that was. Oh, that beat vortex. I'm actually shocked. My bad. Yeah, it was an accidental burst block. It happens. I think I'm going to wait for the 6P. That was a really surprising 6P. You backdash there every time. I don't know why I gave you the credit. If I had a little bit more meter, that was the round, but now I gotta run. Yep. <laughs> Heavy Mob is like, yeah, it's kind of an all in.
Yeah, I was okay with the burst hitting because it crosses you up like that. That's alright. I have to stand back 75% of the screen and just wait. <laughs> That's my job. My job is to wait. Right, that was probably a bad combo out right there, actually. I should have just done something into super. Yeah, most, most Nago players don't play it that slow, though, so it's kind of like, it's sort of okay because you sort of expect this to happen against most Nago players. They don't manage the blood well enough, so. But I mean, like, you know, you can look at the life. It's not actually that much different, despite him popping already. Because if you have burst, I mean, you know, you build it back pretty quick. That's fine for me. That's a lot of blood. Well, I did not think he would attack again. I guess I should just 2S there or far slash because, like... Or, six, like, 6H is probably also fine. I don't know why I keep doing that. Just punish the backdash like I did the other 85 times. I keep making it harder than it has to be. Oh, I was a little late. I'm surprised that reached me. Well, I hit my vortex. Thank you for allowing me to win. That's how you have to play the matchup, a soul. Honestly, the biggest problem in the matchup is how much blood he gets back from far slash now. Like, that is so hard to deal with. I shouldn't say bar. He has he always has blood to spare. So Oh. So you have to like, you know, Remember when success did everything? You know, Nago players complained a lot in that version. Ah, oh, it's not gonna reach, whoops. Okay. Yeah, that honestly, I agree. I don't think it was that bad either, but. I liked playing the matchup as Nago, but was that? Wow, I was gonna say. I'm strong route. Oh, I tried to bait it, but I did it in such a bad way. I can't. I didn't think that was gonna reach me. Oh. Damn, he's good. Oh, 
哦。Oh, I tried to TD, TD back. Oh, what happened to my button? Right, now I gotta chill because of Stun Dipper. Was the air dashing and jumping feel different? Hmm. I don't think so. Probably not the right route now, but it's okay. Oh, 2k, whoops. Damn, that hit me out of the air, word. Oh, my DP. Nope. Maybe I needed a dash deeper. Oh. <laughs> he kicked the shit out of me, I'll tell you what. GG's there, gamers. I think one thing you did early on that you should have done more is you, you hit 6H. You like stopped hitting it. I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, I gotta watch out for 6H. Gotta watch out for 6H. And then you kind of stopped doing it. I had lag issues the last time I played Lavender. We'll see this time. When Eddie was on the screen, or when, yeah, when Eddie was on the screen, like, I had some issues. Okay, I tried to DP twice there. I do like this stage, yeah, I'm a big fan. Are you gonna 6P me or backdash? I tried to DP it. I want the risk against Zato, I think. Oh, you had the bears. The rainy part of the stage is really laggy. This one, this part here. Bro, and Fetty, what up? Nah, oh, my 2k didn't reach. I think he's dead. Oh, he got lucky that the um, the last hit wall split there. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. That's bad. I try to do bandit revolver to make myself airborne there.
Oh, where's my cancel? I got the knock come out right there. Is this the part of the stage you're talking about? Because it does not feel great, I'll tell you what. The little cat? Is it the little cat that makes it rain? The little cat, he's causing a witchcraft. Like this, that's a real meaty. Whoops, I did gunflame. Oh, I didn't know it had that much uh, wall damage ready. How the fuck is Eddie back already? What the hell? Oh, I cannot believe that hit me. I just hit Eddie. Didn't it feel like that? I literally two feet Eddie and then he was back already. That's bad. That's, that's fine, actually. Unfortunate. I didn't want success to begin with. I tried to do, um... Something else. I tried to do something else. What was it? I tried to do uh, far slash and then I think he crossed me up or like I, I was holding forward because I was running. I forgot to turn my music back on. What do you mean? It was a silent ass set? No! That was like, you know, Hitachi was streaming Outer Wilds yesterday and he turned off the music and like, I was like, what are you doing? A great friend man came in the chat and was like, listen here, you idiot. Turn the fucking music back on. Because he was playing his own music, right? And everybody was like, turn the fucking music back on. You got grabbed way too much. I mean, I did a little striking. I did a little throwing. You know, you got to do a combination of the two. No burst. Then you burst. That bur I was in another dimension by the time you bursted. Word. Out of the corner? I'll take that. I'm gonna burst. Corner? I'll. I mean, we can. We can make this happen. Let's see if he knows. This is not a real safe jump. You have to do SDC there. Or you can hit 5k in her trades, actually. I thought I was gonna get close slash. That sucks. I should have Fafnered. I actually did not expect that. That's not what I even tried to do. That's why we SDP him. SDP is six frames faster. <clears throat> so, you know, morning stream air. How's everybody doing? I'm chilling. What about you? Listen, it doesn't have to be like this. Oh, my DP. If I was him, I, I might have burst to keep the position there. Because, like, you know, you, you kind of want the space there. Uh, you you want the corner, right? So oh, that was bad. Oh. HDP is not really good on wake up. Yeah, it's too slow. That's the problem with it. I should have just done two uh two D there.
So, <clears throat> SVV has 7 frames of startup and HVV has 13. HVV, I mean, you can use it. Like, it's not like it's forbidden. It's just really slow. I should have done 2D again. Oh, whoops. I should have just done raw 6H. It's been a while, okay, chat. Again, wrong punish. I gotta remember to do run up close slash 2H, I think. I think that's better. Yeah, I'm gonna do a new BNB video. The reason I haven't done one yet is because of Willa Kill. So you gotta give me some time here. Will I? I like filmed everything. Oh, I try to dash block. Whoops. I like filmed everything, and then Willa Kill like kind of messed everything up. Whoops. You know, I gotta say, that was, like, maybe the last thing I expected. Yeah, I've been too busy with Willow Kill. I have all the optimal stuff down. I mean, the stuff I do is consistent. I don't really know. Like, some of it is optimal, probably, and some of it's not. But I do stuff that I f think is really consistent and <clears throat> easy to hit. To be fair, it might not be easy for you to hit. Like, you might be like, dude, fuck this combo. This combo's too hard. I'm never gonna hit this shit in a match. I just don't. I don't buy it. Until Ventus hits me with that fucking 420 blaze that comes. But yeah, I mean, Ventus' execution is not your execution, right? Some people have beast execution and some people don't. I was a little late there on my... Oh. Alright, I can't say I expected that. Whoops. I like this Faust color. Oh, too early. Whoops. This is my afro. I'm gonna defend it with my life. This is employee Faust. He works at Best Buy. I'm not really sure what my opponent is doing, to be honest. I'm kind of struggling to understand. So I'm just going to start sending it, I think. That was a little late. Oh, it did reach me. I thought if I DP'd that high, there was no way it would reach. Like, did you see how far up in the air my, my combo was? Oh yeah, I forgot that doesn't work, whoops. That's supposed to be a safe jump. What? Calculated. I mean, I did a route specifically to beat that. But sometimes life goes on. The trumpet did nothing. The trumpet did nothing because I evaded it. I mean, he could have done something to chase me. Like Faust, he could just run up there and jump and H me or something if I try to evade. You know. It's, it's, it's like, it forces a situation to happen. And like, part of playing Faust is like, trying to make that situation ad advantageous for yourself, right? And sometimes you don't, and like, that's just the nature of the character, you know. Oh, 
Yeah, the bomb kill is calculated. I see. Now he's dead. There's a route for that. Is it raining? There's a route for that. You gotta hit here. There's a route for that. That's the goal. So Guilty Gear is about having a right for a route and a plan for every situation. No burst. Oh yeah, that just doesn't work on him. That's pretty bad. I will take a trumpet. Oh, that hit so so early. The timing on that knockdown is it's new in this version. I get my DP out. I know it's a safe jump, but like, I have meter sometimes and I just want to spend it on. Whoops. Well, that was an accident. Get me away from this godforsaken me oh. Oh, he did bounce the wall. I thought that was too many hits. I thought it was in a wall splat already. I can't believe that. I kicked the bomb all the way up. Yeah, 5k sends it way up there. Like 2K and 2D send it across the screen at different angles and 2S, but then 5K just kicks it straight up. I usually do that when there's not a lot of time left on the bomb because I don't want him to like kick it back immediately and then I just die. Yeah, if the people you play with are just like always upset, then like, you know, it's probably not gonna be fun for either of you to play. You can always find people to play fighting games with that are like, you know, not those people. You should have Soul do 5K into 6S on block and practice ducking it. Cause I think I did it to you a few times and you like did not, whoops, that was supposed to be five, five S. You like didn't, um, you didn't duck it, which is like really important for Faust. It's something he couldn't do until the last two versions, but like now that he can do it, it's really, really big because it allows you to essentially invalidate his best offensive strength. And if you accidentally do block it, you should 2P it. Because you'll punish it. Give me that risk. Now, 5H is a little late, I think. Oh, burst. Yeah, you should have burst right there. You could have. The BR wild throw reset is belligerent. It's actually really bad. You're like incredibly negative there, so like he can just hit a button and get out of it, but people don't know. Like most things, it seems like it's better than it is until you like try to deal with it and then you realize like, oh, not as bad as I thought. Oh, I cannot believe I didn't combo.
Why did I not hit him, I wonder? I'm like pretty sad about that. Yeah, it's it's honestly not very good, but it's it's okay like, you know, occasionally. I actually don't know if my 6H would have killed. It might have because it's Axel. I shouldn't have jumped there. Shouldn't have jumped there again. Oh, I thought he ran up far slash. I was plus there, but his button beat mine. I must have done it slightly too late. What the fuck? Ah, uh, it's my fault. I should have just done the same thing over and over. I shouldn't have adjusted. I should not have adjusted. That's my fault. My fault. Oh, where was the jump ass? I can't I can't believe it. I meant to back that. This is a good example of like a matchup where the issue I'm having is that I won the first two games, like, kind of just doing my my autopilot, right? Like, doing my, my level one answer. And then I expected my opponent to, like, uh, change it up. And then they haven't changed anything. So then, like, because, like, the strategy hasn't changed, really, naturally, sort of, like, I was like, you know... Why didn't I just do the same thing that was working before? And then it made me grumpy because I was like, dude, you're just not gonna... That's minus three. Uh, I was like, you're just not gonna change your strategy at all? Okay. And then by the time I recognized, like, maybe I should just be doing the same thing and not adjust my strategy at all. I'm already... It's already 2-2. Two, two. Oh, God. What happened right there? Yeah, it's my bad. I should probably just um, win the game. Oh, I hit far slash again and it didn't come out. Yeah, his 2k is incredibly good. It like, it low profiles Soul's pressure. A lot of characters pressure, not just Soul. But it low profiles tons of stuff. And it's five frames, which is like, you know, ungodly fast, right? It's like, it's ungodly fast. So 
because of that, you know, it's a really good button. It either like will frame trap you quite consistently or like, um, or not frame trap, but like beat your frame trap if he times it right or low profile what you do. So like if you like do far, like it low profile souls like 6S and far slash and 5H. In the old game though, it was a much better low profile than it was in this game. Yeah, if you hit raw counter hit BR1, you can close slash, but I think it's like doing close slash, run close slash, like you have to be really ready for the confirm. So I usually just do 5k because it's easy. Does that make sense? Like I do like the consistent confirm because I'm not going to miss it. I'm trying to hit the minion. Can you recall the minion or did I hit it? I don't know actually. Oh, that was a punish. Maybe I should have 6H. I hit the I hit the minion in the 5k. Yeah, 5k is just it's an easier confirm is why I do it. I'm really sad about that because I did that move to like be exactly what happened. Oh, come on, man. I even delayed it. I hate it here. Yeah, it's like, it's it's sort of like hitting the minions doesn't matter that much sometimes, right? Because the minion be, the, the minion gauge comes back incredibly quick, first of all. Which is like, that's already a problem for you, but even, maybe even more importantly, honestly, is that, um, oh yeah, I forgot that doesn't work on her. If you, do, if you delay it when she's crouching. Word. Oh, does that? Oh, yeah, that does not work. I forgot about that. I'm surprised that hit me. You're right. I tried to. I tried to do something. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, the what I did there to hit her out of the air was I BR'd to clear the minions, and then I canceled in the air to do air DP to hit her at the top of the head. Oh yeah, I can't kill him. But I can kill you. Bonk. Okay, listen. Oh, I block cross it. Whoa.
Hmm. Oh. Oh, I hit it too late. I tacked a little too late on the air throw. I tried to delay it, but it was not on time. I mean, I think Sonic Fox is not a Jacko player, IMO. I think Sonic Fox is definitely a Leo player. Like, both in terms of like, obviously understanding of the character, but just in terms of playstyle. Leo fits Sonic's ability to RPS much better. No, the Geo Infinite doesn't work on Soul. I suppose it could happen to Gold Lewis if I play Gold Lewis. Oh, whoops. Man, you have. It's kind of jank. That it doesn't work. Long route. I should have just 6k. Or 6s. Oh. Talking and playing just takes a lot of practice, you know. This matchup in particular, I find it kind of hard to talk and play. Just because you have to play, like, really reactive, and, like, she's, uh, you know. It's very easy for this character to just kind of wombo you. Oh, nice. I think in this version of the game, I'm not 100% on what Soul's good or bad matchups are, but last version, I thought that this matchup might be tough. Nice, that was a good block. She what? Say it? She can wombo me. Oh, fuck. Too low, I guess. Oh, nice. I should have died right there. Well, I don't think I've seen that hit before. Nice. This is a good delay. Yeah, I think Nago before. And Geo Geo's not a bad answer. Oh. Oh, whoops, a little early. Yeah, I think most people think that Nago will, is probably the strongest. They think Soul, like, Soul is good. One of the stronger characters, but not probably the strongest. Nice. Oh, shit. I thought that was going to cross me up. Listen. How can you complain about 2D? Geo 2D is super good. Did I like Ari Village? I thought Ari Village was super good. Big fan of it. I thought the game was dope. I don't know what the opinion on like general, well, whoops. Like on general, I don't know the public opinion about Resident Evil 8, but I thought it was really good. Yeah, LK always said Milia was good. It was like everybody else didn't. Whoa. 
I don't know if I would recommend a burst there. I liked Resident Evil. Like the story was shit. Uh, was it? I don't know. I enjoyed it. For Lord Ghost, what up? How did that not hit, actually? That was good. I keep 2Ding like it's gonna be the right answer, and it's like it's most certainly not. The first portion was really fun. I liked I liked the like environment a lot, and I thought it was cool where it, it took place and like what you had to run around and do. I thought that was fun. Yeah, Resident Evil's having a whack ass ending. It's pretty normal. I need to stretch my hands. Fuck. You're most certainly popping, right? That this is why this shit's trash, right? Like you, you just go ham and you pop, and then after you pop, he has so much fucking life that he's still alive. He has so much fucking life, man. <laughs> it's fucked up. I hate it here. He's just so durable, that's the problem. Cause like, even once he pops, he's just gonna live. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. Oh, I try to hit close slash. Fuck. I have to respect super. Yeah. Shit is hard. He's so durable is the problem. So like, even if you. Fuck. So even if you survive the the blood rage, like, or even if you make him pop and like you survive, you weather the storm up to blood rage, I should say. This might not hit. Yeah, that was bad. Like, he just has so much health after that it's like, it's hard to, hard to live. I cannot believe that reached me. I just wanted to whiff. Ah, uh, I tried to hit a button to stuff it, thank god. He just has so much life. He has so much life, he has so much durability and so much damage. You have to play it so um, cautiously. It's sort of the nature of the beast. Oh, nice. My 5k was a little slow. Wow. Oh, he bounced two different ways. Oops. Okay, I'm chilling. I don't find that surprising because once Nago has high blood, Soul kind of like, he doesn't really do anything. Like, you, you, I mean, he can't really do anything, I should say. Because if, you, if you're if you too active, then you just die, right? So like, you kind of, whoops, that was a lock row. You kind of have to be careful once he has full blood, you know what I'm saying? It's not surprising to me that it goes to time. Like once once he has high blood, you can't really act anymore. 
very easily anyway. So you kind of, you sort of have to be cautious. Wow, I did not realize his blood was so high already. Fuck, I gotta stop hitting that and start hitting... What a block. I'm a little sad that that didn't reach. No pop? Oh, I was so sure. Oh, I try to jump FD. Fuck. Aw, oh, that sucks. I didn't get to clean it. He bounced too high. For Pokemon, what up? Thanks for the 10. Oh. I cannot believe his wake-up throw hit that. That's pretty funny. I don't think that works on him. Maybe I should've done 2k. Oh, I, I try to read that. But the clone got him out. Oh my god, it reached me. Oh my god, it reached me again. Okay. Bro, I'm so far. Oh! OTG would have killed there? I don't think so. He has the highest health and guts in the game, so... I would rather take the Oki in that situation than do 6H and then him wake up with something and kill me. Anji might have individually higher guts, but Nago has more health. <clears throat> He's got the health. He's the tankiest. The whip PRC at the end? Or the whip RC at the end? Yeah. Give me that punish. Oh, fuck. I read Fireball. I was okay to get my burst off the table, or both bursts off the table early. And my 2D. I thought his DP whipped on my 2D, to be honest. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna jump on round start. Oh. Nice. My air throw did not work. PP? We're getting spicy, huh? Oh, I try to back dash, but. That sucks. Uh, I hate it here. I have to respect him in neutral. The, the problem is like, so his his fireball is so is so good in neutral and his grounded buttons are so good in, in neutral. What the fuck? The game like exploded right there. I didn't even get a dash or anything I tried to do on knockdown there.
I had no meter because of the meter penalty. You have to respect him in neutral because of how good his buttons, his five, like his 5k and his 2d and his fireball is. So you have to play like so reactively. He also has like some of the best defense in the game against Soul, which is also not good. He's heavy, which affects the combo rounds. And more importantly, he, uh, dude, our game is crazy. What the fuck? He's heavy and he has DP, obviously. A DP that can punish my success. Five five is bad for soul players. Pull up to the lobby. Anytime. Who's your main? I'll pick him. We can play a mirror. I don't know that you, you know, it's very obvious by the way that you type that you don't have an internet connection that's working, maybe. But uh, there's a patch for this game. It's not Guilty Gear Strive 1.0 anymore. It's almost like things have changed. Oh, my other didn't win there. Nice. I try to hit 2k. I did not expect that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I can't tell you for sure every matchup in the game, but what I can tell you is that I know a lot more about Souls matchups than you do. And so I'm pretty... When I tell you something about Souls matchup or a Soul matchup, you know, you should probably just listen. That doesn't beat that? I had no idea. What? The RC pop doesn't beat the... Uh... Oh, I thought it hit. RC Pop doesn't beat his counter? I did not know that. I mean, it's been pretty a common opinion that Leo beat Soul since last patch. Like, it's not like a new phenomenon. Oh, fuck. It's not like a new phenomenon. Like, I don't know why that's... It's not even like a... It's not even like something new. It's just people... People who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Nice. That was good not to DP. Oh, God. It's been pretty... I mean, I think most people thought the matchup was... That's, that is unfortunate. Most people thought the matchup was pretty even in the first version of the game. When Soul was the best, he was. Given the hyperbole around Soul, you know, stop crying about Leo. One thing you'll never understand is that explaining a matchup is my job. And that's what I was doing. It is my job to talk about fighting games. And unfortunately for you, it's your job to be a moron. And you're very good at it. So, you know, good luck. I'm happy that uh, you're proficient at your job and I'm good at mine. Literally just explaining the matchup. I I won. I, I don't know if you still looked at the screen. Pull up any time, you know? I play my viewers every day. There's like this idea from the launch of the game that like Soul is this unbeatable god character. And like people just, they don't know how to think beyond that. They just listen to whatever content creator is spewing.
silly stuff with them. So when I tell you like, hey, this is how this matchup works. Like this character does this, this character does that, this character, you know, et cetera. You don't want to listen to that. You just want to listen to Soul Good Go Burr. If you want to be a moron, then you should go to a stream where the streamer's a moron and they like your kind there.